Here with me now, New York Congressman, Chairman of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, Hillary Clinton supporter, Steve Israel. Congressman, uh, thanks for coming Great in, to sir. Be with you. Let's start with strategy. Why go back on the air in, in places like Michigan and places like uh, Wisconsin, New Mexico, Virginia even? Why do that at this stage in the game? Well, you know, I used to chair the DCCC, which explains all these gray hairs on my head. And, and I can tell you, uh, as one who chaired a national campaign committee, when you are a week out of election day, less than a week out of election day, this is when it becomes day by day hour by hour, minute by minute, and you are full thrust uh, throughout that whole process. And so you begin to make decisions uh, that are uh, required uh, to increase your win. But is this, exactly a manifestation, is this a manifestation of nervousness, perhaps? No, it's a manifestation of winning. You do what you have to do to win. Uh, and uh, you've got to have two things. This is where uh, all those years of planning and preparation, uh, they all come together, uh, and you have a convergence of two things in the final uh, six days. Number one, message. And Hillary Clinton is doubling down on, on the message that Donald Trump is temperamentally unfit and dangerously reckless to be president of the United States. But the more important thing right now, Craig, is the ground game. This is where your infrastructure counts. I was in Florida last Thursday, Friday, this Monday, Tuesday. I saw more field offices, more volunteers, more canvassers, more phone bankers in the Hillary Clinton infrastructure than I've seen in all my years in politics. The ground game counts in the final days, and that's why I'm confident that Hillary Clinton's going to win. You mentioned Florida. Let's talk North Carolina for a second, another crucial battleground state. Uh, early numbers out show that uh, the share of the early black vote in that state is down from where it was four years ago. How much does that worry you? Well, I would say three things. Number one, let's accept the fact that Barack Obama was an historic candidate for the African American community. Number two, uh, we have six days left. And as I said before, now it's just day by day, hour by hour. And so we have time in, uh, to, to increase that enthusiasm. And third, I will, I will tell you, I am concerned. Uh, with Republican voter suppression efforts. So bad that a, a court in North Carolina said that Republicans were uh, engaged in a sexual, I'm sorry, not a sexual, but a surgical assault uh, on, on African American easy voters. To, yeah, That's right. right. Yeah, we're in that climate. Yeah. Uh, but a court said that they were involved in a surgical assault on the right of African Americans to vote. Uh, and so the best way of dealing with that is to go out and vote, defy those attempts to suppress that vote. You said something earlier this week that caught our attention. You told the Times of Israel, quote, I think that Trump's statements and conduct over the past few months has actually eclipsed the concern that some may have had with respect to Iran. What makes you, you think that Jewish Americans are now more afraid of Donald Trump than, than Tehran's nuclear capability? Well, number one, because Donald Trump said that when it comes to Israel, he will be neutral. Number two, he has said that he will force the Israelis to reimburse the United States for the cost of our security and Israel's security. Number three, beyond uh, Israel, if you're concerned about the environment, if you're concerned about women, if you're concerned about the ability of college students to afford their education, uh, Donald Trump uh, is a bad deal on all of those metrics. Hillary Clinton is an important and very positive influence on those metrics. You put it all together uh, and uh, people the American Jewish community is solidly behind Hillary Clinton. New York Congressman Steve Israel, thank you so much thank for your you. time. Go have that baby. <laughs> you, you talk to my wife, sir. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, we have some some new.